I never ever knew that this is my first time seeing a calabash tree. I mean, this whole tour has just really made me reflect and it makes me really upset. Ghanaians, I have a question for us. Why are these things still being held in the UK? Is it time that we went back and claimed back what's rightfully ours? you will see the Ghana National Cultural Centre where a lot of Ghana's culture is kept as you can see straight from the entrance it says Amamrefie which means home of tradition and you know the cultural centre was established in 1952 as one of sub-Saharan Africa's first cultural centres so today we are going to be met with so much tradition and culture straight away from the entrance you can see some statues that are depicting Ashanti culture tradition and heritage and no I haven't forgotten Kiss from this dimple, kiss from this dimple. Okay, our dimples, I have signed in. And this is the scene from our previous video with the street food where many of you were asking where we were whilst we were being served with so much street food from the street hawkers. So here is exactly where we were sat as we indulge in such delicious Ghanaian delicacies. But today is not about the food. You know I love my food but that's what we're about today. Today we're going to look more into the Shanti culture as we are at the Ghana Cultural Centre in Kumasi, Ashanti region. So as you can see this whole cultural centre it's made up of history and this stone behind me was laid by Otumfo Asantehene and Asantehene means a king of the Ashantis. Let's continue. Ghana, my beloved country, is so full of beautiful culture. It's just so rich, vibrant and colourful and these artworks depict it so well. So whether Ghanaian or a non-Ghanaian, Akwaba because ene yebisfiad yekakra. So this is Otumfo Ose Ajima in Prempe. You've got the Asante warriors. So these all form part of Ghana culture. And this is Okomfo Anoche. If you want to know more about Okomfo Anoche, there's a video where we visited the Okomfo Anoche site. This is with Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and we've seen Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's memorial in Accra. So that's also on this channel if you want more. So all these arts represent Ghana and our history. So beautiful. And this is Nanaya Asantawa, the brave female. This is just beautiful. All this beautiful African art. Should I say Ghanaian art? demonstrated on these walls which was your favorite comment below as we continue our walk to the Ghana cultural center to find out more about Ghana culture you know Ghanaians are very religious people and this is the famous G Nyame sign which means only God I mean fashion is a subtle yet critical part of our history and culture and you know the patterns, designs, fabrics and colours of the stuff we wear as well as the ways in which we wear them are key. So I found this shop in the heart of the cultural centre and I just had to enter. Here you can buy like souvenirs, so they have like jewellery, you know it's all to different tastes, it depends on what you want. 
and then you've got the African print stuff. Edinkra are symbols from Ghana that represent different concepts and the Jinyame is the most popular one and I must say my favourite one is Emre Dane which means time changes and here you have some on display as wooden artwork. The worshipping of so-called gods will still be found as part of the Ghana history and you know a lot of these souvenirs are depicting those gods that may have been worshipped. Some may look a little bit scary, but to no offence. <laughs> Here they are. <laughs> this chair, I want one. Miss Sanonio or me, no. Do I ever carry one? Yeah, Sorry, how much is, are they? So it's 100, 100 and 250. Wow. I can imagine sitting on one in the house. <laughs> Eating for four. No, I want one. Are you like Black History Month? Why are you baby? I love this. Guys, look at this little drum. Very cute. Okay, so you've got like music instruments here. Catch your drum, Nia. Thirty-five, and there are different drums here. We've got this drum here too. Oh, I love this. Let's try the big one. <laughs> Is it and it changes tune? Oh, like oh, you are you're doing it too much. Uh, <laughs> so you press. So your armpit gives you the music. So how you do your armpit? So the armpit gives music. Ah, uh, wow. So this is what they used to make a calabash, you know those little bowls that you can drink like cocoa and stuff like that in or palm wine. So it grows on a tree. I never ever knew that. This is my first time seeing a calabash tree. It's so nice. Hey, that's a pumpkin. It looks like a pumpkin, doesn't it? So in Pacho, are you fruit no moana? Like, uh, I had an S at that brown color. So, bright. Uh, so when you think of it, you have best to be this color. Yeah, then you have to do the same as you. I don't want to use it as a good. You will have to come back. Yeah. You have to do it. Or you want to use it as a storage, something to drink more time. Then you cut just the top. Okay. Cook whatever is inside out. Yeah, and then it becomes a calabash. You dry, it become brownish. Wow. I'm so impressed. Wow, okay. 
When you look down here, this is a cocoa tree and this is a calabash tree, but they've kind of like intertwined. So when we go around, actually look up here, you see some cocoa growing. Ah, cocoa is chocolate. Chocolate. Cocoa is for chocolate. Calabash tree. Wow. So that's the calabash tree and that's the cocoa tree. You can see the calabash plant. Uh, we just finished our tour at the Premke Jubilee Museum and I really wish we could show it to you but they don't allow filming inside but it was very educative we got to see lots and lots of Ashanti artifacts we learned the history throughout the kingdom you know we learned more about Ya Asantua and do you know what? Something that really stuck with me is the fact that Ya Asantua was captured when the British tried to come to Ghana and take over the golden stool. They wanted to basically take it back to the United Kingdom. And Ya Asantua, in her trying to resist that, they captured her and took her back to the Seychelles Islands and she eventually died there. She died in 1945. I don't know if I'm right, quote me if I'm wrong, but it's around that time. And would you believe her remains was only brought back to Ghana in 2000? <sighs> I mean, this whole tour has just really made me reflect and it makes me really upset as a Ghanaian who lives in the United Kingdom that actually to this day, when you go to the British Museum, you will still see Ghanaian artifacts there. And these artifacts are artifacts that were stolen from Ghana as part of the days of slave trade. I mean, Ghanaians, I have a question for us. Why are these things still being held in the UK? Is it time that we went back and claimed back what's rightfully ours? That's food for thought for you, but thank you for joining me today at the Culture Center in Kumasi Ashanti region. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I hope you have learned something or seen something new today. Until then, it's Kiss from the dimple, kiss from the dimple. Ekriya dimples, I am signing out. <laughs>